Hey guys, welcome back to the construction site. It's your boy, the foreman, back with another video. Hope you've been keeping well and keeping safe out there. So today's video, we are going to have the Blaze V deck. The Blaze V deck. I think that's why I name it, you know, I, I could be wrong. But I'm more sure I give it the name of the Blaze V deck. Anyhow, it's surrounded charts already would have seen it there just now. For a minute, the cards, um, you can always pause and look at it. Your boy just put it this deck, you know, just put it around the deck so he can learn strategies, get a better understanding. Now, here at the off, just control this out here. This Blissy, I honestly wasn't going to lead out with Blissy if it was up to me. No, Chelsea had come right when I had start playing. And I missed this part to select which Pokemon I wanted to select. And as you can see, it's going to count right down to one. And then once it counts to one, it selects for you. And it put Blissey out front. Now, the reason being I probably wouldn't have started with Blissey is because... Blissey is a good card that I could have charged up after. I could have used after. In terms of I could have sent out... I could have sent out. His name ain't even coming to me there now. That well, I could have sent him out instead and lead with him and probably power up Blissey. But nonetheless, tested that. We didn't really, we didn't really go about it. Let's see how it works out. So he leads off with Ditto. V as his lead and I'm out with Blissey. No. Everybody knows Blissey ability. As long as I attack, I get to put any energy cards in the discard pile on Blissey. No Blissey will be a good Pokemon to have coming in at the end game. Where you had about three or four Pokemon that had on energies, and you get to tear all those energies out to the energy pile. Well, we all know even in the in the normal game that Blissey is not really a and Chansey is not really a really heavy attacking Pokemon because most of the gameplay around them surround is usually surround healing. Um, but I, I honestly feel like this could have been hitting a little harder though um, in terms of for every energy card even if it was 40 but the 30 it wasn't really working out all right so he has Greedent V Max and that Greedent is a very good card that Greedent V Max that was a good card for him to pull and uh, he's soon he's very close to having three energies now i put ball guy in here because i know i had a lot of great balls and quick balls and thing in my hand so uh, you know i just learning the strategies because this is still me getting back into it the last time i would have actually played the tcg and actually build decks and that sort of stuff would have been a long time ago probably shortly after it would have been on Game Boy. I don't know how much people remember it being on Game Boy, but the TCG was on Game Boy. We could have got all the BSAC Pokemon cards. So oh, that was a beautiful time, guys. <laughs> if only all those Pokemon cards could have really transcribed out the game and win them as a prize. That would be a cool thing all Pokemon could do. But for us in the Pokemon community, you know, um, have a little in-game tournament, and if you win, you know, you, you get some sort of Pokemon awards, you get some Pokemon from out of your deck or something along that lines, you know, and they, they start them with champions. Well, we I know that they have that sort of thing out there already in the real TCG, but I'm talking about like any virtual, any virtual players, 
not the live players I guess they have people who do both um, but we'll see so as I continue here to battle the Pokemon Master um, it seems that it's going to be the first body to land a knockout here but but I in trouble just looking at my hand here and looking at me cars I'm in trouble reason being is that the next Pokemon that he's more than lately concerned is Freedom for sure and that's a hundred and sixty no I was like early I was looking at my dad and I was like yo Cinderace V in here when I use one the uh, the great balls but it was like when they had to put the prices like yo i gotta pull cinderace out of here first card they pull in price with cinderace now it's my turn so i use i use bosses orders here no everybody know what bosses orders is to switch to pokemon no I don't know what the retreat cost for Cramorant would have been, but I feel like I should have put on Cramorant because I gave him an escape rope here, you know. And why I say I gave him an escape rope was because Hondo Money need more energy to retreat, and Greedon already max retreat energies, and. He get to put on the energy and retreat. No, my thing is is that I and then he retreats and knock out Blissey. Blissey goes to the graveyard. He gets two prizes. No, if Kramara had two energies, then that would at least buy me a turn. So that's I guess I'm saying I miss and is these little things if you miss them you would could cause you to lose the game now i was studying who i wanted to put here i put dual do energy retrieval get back to fire energies time to build up cinderace no you never know what any your, your opponent hand so what you could do because that's what for the best I have a backup plan to whatever your strategy is no your boy and was thinking about yeah set up uh, send the rest share some less my use boss's order now you know which Pokemon he's playing send the rest you see it so I know that's a smart move for him because no send the rest at 160 next attack knock out no i could switch back to double which is cool but send the rest now on the bench with 160 damage which is two knockouts anyhow no i can use energy retrieval again get the last energy because obviously i need three energies for send the rest to attack and it didn't really make any sense to keep in the deck keep my heart in the deck and put in the energy so I go again so he's going to attack double wall they're gonna put it down to they're gonna put it down to 130 but 130 and 130 is still 260 and 260 is still a knockout that's two more prizes so really and truly ain't a predicament here that i can't recover from um i could try i don't know how good it would be um because if i pull bosses orders here no I could obviously switch out him again and bring back in Hong, Hong Doom. And 
knock out Horn Doom. Now the thing is, is that when I switch back in Cinderworks here, even if I give Gradient my attack at 320, it definitely knocking him out now. And obviously I had already made it in my mind in calling that Cinderace. So it didn't really make any sense trying to go to center search now to switch up the whole play. Now this was such a real weird shuffling of my deck. Cause I didn't get Charmander. I had one Charmeleon. I didn't see none of the Charizards. And I I did that going two Charizards. So it was so weird that I didn't pull any. No. Cinderella's attack. That's a good attack. But obviously, no, he has like how much other cards he got then? I know. Got, got, got almost 10 cards or more in his hand, but you know, so. He could got anything in his hand, so and then he healed gradient, so it all carried back down to 50. So even if I attack again, it still ain't a knockout or even puts gradient be maxed again, knockout. Um, so I don't, I won't say that the depth flawed in my eyes. Maybe I should have it. Um, more heavy hitters but i do because i got is a charizard that really bears the wrong charizard gx and charizard gs definitely if i had charizard v at gx i would have been able to at least knock out this gradient v max but i still get to knock out Doom. Oh, and that was a mistake. I don't even know what happened there in terms of me healing Handoom because I, I, I probably didn't read the thing properly. Uh, as I say, it's still training because I don't know what craziness is all that I know do. Because I should have never be healing Handoom. Uh, I heal Handoom. This was crazy. And I, I didn't even recognize that that's what happened either. And you see what I mean? So imagine now if Blissey had come in and it had like it had he had not put two Pokemon but all of them had energies on them. Let me say between six or something. Blissey would have had six energies coming in. So Blissey is a good Pokemon to attend. And then he retreat again. So you know what gonna happen here? He can use Pokemon Santa Lady, finish heal up, bring up the max. So even even if I give him a lash for, so if I had at least keep the other one just now, I would have still be able to heal Blissey twice. I would have been hundred. I would have got healed. A good switch out the money. You shuffle up. I never get to use bird keeper but it didn't really matter it just show off the prettiness of it there but i couldn't use bird keeper um hopefully i would get to okay and uh, once again so this is gonna be my last attack because he can knock out blissy now i get the final two prices so i want to thank the Pokemon Master do on the store Pokemon Master for helping me test out this um, deck. It graciously accept my defeat. I see some weaknesses. And that's it guys. So that's a, the wrap. And until next time, remember like, subscribe, make sure you buy the support. Foreman out. Oh.